Your friend kind of came. Uh, well, that's a good idea. Next time. That's <laughs> <laughs> good. Good ideas just come every second, guys. Hello, welcome to live story time with Ali, and maybe a special surprise later. Ooh, what could that be? I think it's a trumpet. Uh, <laughs> we are here to read. Um, our special book called My Lighthouse. So boys and girls, get yourself cozy on the sofa. Parents, I hope you've made yourself a cup of tea or a cup of coffee just to take the next 10 minutes for yourself because that's okay to do that, that's okay. Maybe some of you have just realized that you're now homeschooling for the next couple months. Isn't that terrifying? Yes, it's pretty awful. <laughs> so um, we've been, we're here in Nashville, we've been surviving. I have three kids a six a year old, a three year old and a two year old. And uh, yeah, we're just, you know, getting all the activities going. Here's a few tips for you. Great activity. If you've had babies and you still have your crib mattress, just set up beside a sofa. That's gonna be an hour of your day gone. They're just gonna climb up and down, they're gonna jump <laughs> up and down. Kids free reign there. Also, if you happen to have Alexa in the house and you teach your kids to say, Alexa, tell me a story, She'll just tell them stories all day long. <laughs> Genius. So that's what we've been doing. <laughs> and we've been finding the odd turtle on the side of a road and doing things like that. Playing with grass, you know, any sort of activities. But um, giving you times to log on. Also, if there's a couple of you guys, kids watching around, just set the phone down. Stop arguing over who's going to hold the phone. The, the nice Irish lady will still be here. Just to set it down on the coffee table. Take a seat back, everything's gonna be fine. We're gonna get through this together. So uh, here we go. This is a bit called My Lighthouse. This is a guy, he's called Finn. He's a little boy and he has a special friend called, well, I like to call him Webby, but he's a crab. <laughs> it makes no sense why he's called Webby. <laughs> I think it's because a crab kind of reminds me of a spider and spiders spin webs. So we call him Webby. Makes sense? Okay, good times. Okay, so we're gonna read it together. I should also um, just let you know that this is, we wrote this last year, Gareth and I, it was based um, upon our song called My Lighthouse, which some of you may know. And uh, yeah, let's go. This is My Lighthouse by Ren Collector. Also my friend Natasha illustrated this for us, Natasha Denham, she's over there in the UK and uh, she did an amazing job. So let's see what's gonna to happen to Finn. Let's go. Also, it's going to be up here for you guys to see. We are so technologically advanced here in uh, <laughs> in Nashville that we're using a thing called PowerPoint. Super high tech. <laughs> Don't know if you've heard of it. <laughs> so, this is a story about a house. But as you may or may not know, there are many different types of houses in this world. There's bungalows, semi-detached houses, greenhouses. Confusing because they're not actually green. Bird houses, apartments and flats, the white house, which is actually white, but not the only white house. Cottages, country houses, tree houses, doll houses, detached houses, temporary houses, and even the houses of parliament. This, however, is the story of a lighthouse. Not a lighthouse or a lighthouse, but a lighthouse, the one with the light near the sea. Finn had lived in a lighthouse his whole life, just like his dad and his dad and his dad, right back to when it was built. Finn hated living in a lighthouse. He just wanted to be normal and live in a regular square house like all his friends. Why did everything have to be round? Round cooker, round pitchers, round rug, round cat, although I'm pretty sure he ate too much. Round bed, round bath, round head. Oh no, wait, that's meant to be round, that's okay. Anyway, you get the idea. He would often ask his dad, why can't we live in a regular square house like everyone else? Because son, we're not like everyone else. We are special. Finn didn't really understand how significant and important his family was. One thing Finn did love and understand was boats. Every day he would watch them appear over the horizon and sail safe to shore while imagining his own great sea adventure. Oh, 
he would be the world's youngest explorer ever, sailing into the great unknown to find treasure. Now, not silly coins and stuff, real treasure like computer games and candy and iPhones, that's right. Oh, and the odd undiscovered sea creature. I'll name you Wonglefish. Everybody say Wonglefish. 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 That's right. The next evening, while his mum and dad were cooking dinner, Finn decided to push the boat out into the cold, clear water. It was the perfect time. Everyone was busy. There he was in the open sea, wind in his face, life jacket on, and a heart full of excitement. Not that type of wind, Chris. That's disgusting. <laughs> The wind started calm, then grew strong, then became wild and scary. He quickly realized he was all alone and began to miss home. Very soon, Finn was lost in the dark. <gasps> it's gonna be okay. He needed to get home, but he had forgotten his map and compass, a map that will show your parents some of the great places to go if they ever visit Ireland. When it felt like all hope was lost, he saw a faint light in the distance. It seemed to pass by every five seconds or so. One, two, three, four, five. There it is again. Do it with me. Ready, everybody count. One, two, two three, three, four, four five. five. There it is again. He recognized that light. And as a matter of fact, he had known that light his entire life never fading and constant. If he could just follow it, he knew it would lead him home. Through the waves, through the fog, through the terrifyingly angry rocks. I'm not sure why they're angry, but they are. Finn followed the light home. That light was his home. And as he pulled his boot up onto the sand, Finn realized his house his lighthouse was leading every ship, boat, canoe, safe to shore. It wasn't just a regular house. It was special, and he was so glad it was his. That night going to bed, he said, I love this house, Dad. And his dad replied, and it loves you too, son. And of course, we must remember to feed our fish with fish food. <laughs> you know, we wrote this book to remind all you boys and girls that Jesus came to this earth so that he could be the light in your life that will always lead you home. Now, who loves singing? Me! Yes! We all love singing! So, we have a special someone here to sing a little song that you may or may not know, but I think you might know it. Welcome, Chris Llewellyn! Woo! Don't knock over the TP. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's the thing. I'm going to be vulnerable for a second. I get really lonely whenever I have to sing by myself. Oh, no. So I really need everybody's help. So you're going to have to sing. And the first part of singing is always warming up, okay? So can everybody make this noise? <laughs> That's good. Janet, fantastic job. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try it again. <laughs> I'm just doing it because my wife's doing it behind the camera. <laughs> She's not doing very well. <laughs> Alright, we're all warmed up. Let's sing together. I know this one. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> My lighthouse, my lighthouse, shining in the dark, I will follow you, oh, my lighthouse, my lighthouse, I will trust the promise, you will carry me safe to shore, oh, 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 oh. sing it on, safe to shore. I'm 
failures you won't walk out your great love will lead me through you are the peace in my trouble see oh, oh you are the peace in my trouble see my lighthouse my